Yo, what's good? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some drill slides with your 808s. <laughs> Now this tutorial is mainly going to be aimed at beginners who are just getting into making drill but if you're not stick around anyway you might pick up something new now for your 808 settings what you want to do is open it up uh, turn off use loop points go into this second menu here turn the hold all the way up and drop everything else this will make it so the 808 plays only for as long as you've drawn the note on the piano roll if that makes sense also real quick forgot to mention go into this third wrench here and click on cut self this will make sure that the 808 doesn't overlap itself now before we get into the rolls into the rolls Ugh. now before we get into <laughs> before we start doing any of that fancy shit we have to make sure that our 808s are in key because an out of key 808 will ruin any beat it doesn't matter how well it's mixed always double check the key of your 808 because sometimes they're in completely different keys and you'll be making a beat not knowing why it's off even though you're playing the right notes so right click here edit in audio editor right click here regions detect pitch regions so as you can see here the 808 in d instead of c so what we can do is go over to this wrench here just right click on d to switch the root note so now any note that we play will be accurate so there's two ways you can do this the right way and the lazy way i'll show you the right way first lay down a note pitch it up and play your sample and keep raising the note up until it sounds right. Oh fuck, I got it right first try. Shit. Okay, let's pretend I didn't do that. Yep. Now, there's also a lazy way. What you got to do is go to a website called tuneback.com, drag your sample in, and it'll tell you the BPM and key. Usually though, for some reason, it halves the BPM. I don't know why. Although it might not be like 100% accurate all of the time, so I suggest just using your ears. Anyway, now that we have the root note, I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but in case you don't, hit this menu here, go to view, go to scale highlighting, and select your root note. I usually do it in minor natural. Now this has created ghost notes for us, so all of these notes will be in key. All of the dark notes, out of key. All right, so the basis of an 808 slide is that it's all dependent on the note length and the slide length. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so I'll drop a note here and then I'll select this little black triangle here. This makes it so the next note that I put down is gonna be a slide note. There's a longer way of doing it where you place the note down, double click on the note, select it here and then click accept, but that's fucking long. As you can hear, it's rolling, but super slow. But as I reduce the length of the roll note, it gets faster. Now let's try shortening the bass note. What I'm gonna do is press C to get the slicer tool and I'm gonna just chop it in half. That sounds way better already. Now if I wanted to, I could hold shift, drag this, duplicate it over. And if you want quicker slides, just cut your bass notes in half, place another slide. That doesn't sound great, but you get the idea. Now, as a general rule of thumb, what I usually do is my bass notes will be half a bar long. And for my slide notes, I'll set it to one fourth beat and just make the slides a box long. One thing to consider though, is that slide note length is all dependent on what 808 you use. Like with some 808s, it'll sound better if the slide notes are longer. With some, it'll sound better if the slide notes are shorter. For example, I've got this Brooklyn 808 and right now my slide notes are a box large in one fourth beat. And this is what it sounds like. Now that sounds okay, but if we go to one sixth beat, make them even smaller this is what we get and it's just a lot cleaner so definitely experiment with different slide note lengths depending on the 808 and just find what sounds nice to you now in terms of coming up with 808 patterns i always just start simple start with bass notes and then add to it i'll whip something up quickly for you now so you can see my process so i lay down a note about half a bar in length and i'll just listen to the sample and then just just vibe you know
once you've got your bass notes down then all you got to do is just chop them up go crazy do whatever comes into your head just experiment do whatever there's no rules to this shit just make what sounds nice to you one thing to always keep in mind though with your patterns is not every single beat has to re -re 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 -re. it's all dependent on the sample so listen to how busy the sample is for example if your sample is quite simple and repetitive there's not like a load of instruments going on you can play around with your 808 and just do as many rolls as you want like this sample that's a bit more busy and more melodic elements you can consider keeping your slides quite simple like this best piece of advice other than what I've said in the videos is just keep making beats and practicing. When I first started making drill back in like January, my 808 rolls were fucking shit. But you just keep putting them reps in and eventually you start making stuff that you, you don't hate. So just keep at it and a few months time you'll be laughing at the shit you were making before. Anyway, if you guys found this video useful at all, consider subscribing, dropping a like on the video, leave a comment down below to let me know if this was helpful at all. And yeah, see you guys next week. Take care. Follow me at JSOULBEATS on IG. I post there pretty much every day. I respond to all my DMs.